you've heard of Old Glory, the Stars and Bars, the Union Jack, all names of famous flags. But have you heard of Kentucky's state flag? In this video, we're going to talk about the history of Kentucky's state flag. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. Now on to the flag. But before we get to the Kentucky state flag that we all know today, we're going all the way back to before the state or even the country was formed. We start with the Union Jack, the flag of Great Britain. Before the American Revolution, the Union Jack was the flag used by early settlers. James Harrod settled Harrodsburg, the first town of Kentucky, in 1774. A few years later, the American Revolution began, and Kentucky flew the flag of Virginia. Slowly, in prominent locations in the state, people began to fly the U.S. flag, 13 stars and 13 stripes. Eventually, everyone did. After the war, the District of Kentucky went back to the Virginia flag. On June 1, 1792, Kentucky became the 15th state of the United States. The General Assembly used the U.S. flag as its flag, 15 stars and 15 stripes. Over the next 60 plus years, Kentucky kept the national flag as the unofficial flag of Kentucky. When the Civil War began, Kentucky never seceded from the Union. However, at different times, in different towns, across the state, the Confederate and the Union flags flew. Once the war was over, the U.S. national flag was used as the unofficial state flag. If the U.S. flag changed, Kentucky used the new version. Finally, in 1918, Kentucky's General Assembly decided to make an official flag for Kentucky. Like all political matters, it took them 10 years to agree to the specifics. The design of the flag would be navy blue with the seal of the Commonwealth of Kentucky encircled by a wreath of goldenrod. The first official flag was put together quickly for a ceremony at Camp Zachary Taylor. After the ceremony, it was sent to Credo Harris for creative improvements. A committee was formed and three designs were agreed upon. The committee decided to combine the three, but then it was lost. A flag was then needed for another ceremony, and Jewett Cannon of the Kentucky Historical Society hired Jesse Cox Burgess, an art teacher, to create a design. Flags were made in Philly, and three were sent back. However, only two made it. In 1961, Kentucky finally made the specifics of the flag official. Harold Collins, an artist, made three designs. The flag you see today was approved and made into law in 1962. So a wild ride for the Kentucky flag. The Kentucky flag is not even 100 years old. That's a little shocking. But there's more. In 2000, the Kentucky General Assembly adopted a Pledge of Allegiance to the Flag of Kentucky, and it goes as follows. I pledge allegiance to the Kentucky flag and to the sovereign state for which it stands, one commonwealth, blessed with the diversity, natural wealth, beauty, and grace from on high. I hope you've learned something new about the history of the Kentucky state flag. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Kentucky history. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. If you'd like to support our channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod or become a member of our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.